a terrifying threat from a stranger. A Brooklyn man claims that someone called him on the phone, threatening to kill him and his family if he didn't hand over money. Now, he is sharing his story tonight, but he's so shaken up, he's wearing a mask to conceal his identity. CBS 2's Rena Roy has more. It began with a quick, eerie phone call from an anonymous person asking for money, then quickly escalated. Just look at those pictures. Oh my God, blood, gory, horrible. This man who hid his face in fear says last week he got text messages with pictures of blood-soaked and mangled people. They were shown at a press conference, but we blurred them because they were too graphic to air. Along with those horrifying visuals, he received a demand for cash, plus a list of his family members, his address, and a threat to kill. You just don't know what to do, and I was terrified. One text claimed the sender was part of a cartel and managed a brothel, saying the victim owed money for speaking with a woman about her services and wasting her time. Reading in part, I've implanted you a fee which you must pay. If you don't pay, you and a couple of your family members will lose your lives. Then came the moment when he had to decide what to do. If it's 50%, if it's 25% of chance, you're still scared, and I was still scared. I'm actually shaking right now. Should I go to the police? Do I make myself known? Do I, do I make a big deal about it? Do I not? This victim thought it through. Instead of paying, asking for help from former assemblyman and community leader Dove Hykind, who alerted authorities. What we have today goes beyond anything I have ever seen. It is shocking. They're hoping sharing this story will help prevent others from falling victim to this scam. It's often simply a method of intimidation, with scammers building personal profiles on victims from their social media pages to craft a convincing threat. The good news, experts tell us there is usually no imminent danger, but that it's always smart to report it. In Kensington, Brooklyn, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.